Welcome to the Library and Archives Canada Preservation Storage Facility. Completed in 2022, this innovative and sustainable building is designed to safely store Canada's documentary heritage for the benefit of current and future generations. In 2019, Library and Archives Canada began a public-private partnership with Plenary Properties Gatineau to design, build and finance the facility, as well as to operate and maintain it until 2052. The facility is located in Gatineau, Quebec, within Canada's National Capital Region, and is physically linked to our flagship building, the Preservation Centre. Together, the two facilities form Library and Archives Canada's Preservation Campus. With more than 21,000 cubic metres of capacity, the equivalent of eight and a half Olympic swimming pools, the Preservation Storage Facility provides enough storage space to house more than 900,000 containers, including 600,000 boxes of textual material, as well as more than 300,000 reels of motion picture film and microfilm. In 2011, Library and Archives Canada recognized the need to expand its collection storage capacity. Planning began on a state-of-the-art archival facility that could house thousands of collection containers within a small footprint, while still providing efficient access and the best archival storage environment. The large circulation room on the first floor allows staff to transport collection material in and out of the facility. Containers are stored in six large climate-controlled vaults located above the first floor. Each vault is approximately 10 meters wide 58 meters long and 28 meters high, and has enough room to store more than 3,500 cubic meters of collection material. Vaults 1 to 5 store textual documents at 10 degrees Celsius with a relative humidity of 40%. Vault 6 is a mixed-use vault. It stores textual material as well as motion picture film and microfilm at 6 degrees Celsius with a relative humidity of 30%. These conditions were chosen with a 500-year preservation goal in mind. This means that a new piece of paper stored in these conditions should still be readable in 500 years. The vaults are equipped with an automated storage and retrieval system, which allows staff to easily retrieve materials. Each vault has a crane that runs on a rail down the center the crane can access all areas of a vault. Its retractable hydraulic arm lifts shelving units off storage racking and delivers them to a lift. Once deposited in the lift, the shelving unit is lowered to the first floor circulation room. The circulation room has one pick station per vault. These pick stations allow staff to easily access the containers. Containers stored in the facility can be accessed via a request made through the collection management system. The operator selects the request from the automated storage and retrieval system, which starts the retrieval process. Up inside the vault, the crane moves to retrieve the shelving unit housing the requested container. If the container is located on a shelving unit in the second row, the system will first move the shelving unit in front of it to one of the empty shuffle locations once the requested shelving unit is retrieved, it's transported and deposited into the lift, where it's carefully lowered to the first floor. When the shelving unit arrives, the shelf holding the requested container is presented at the pick station, allowing easy access for the operator. To return a container to a vault, the process runs in reverse. The Preservation Storage Facility is the first Government of Canada building constructed to meet the net zero carbon requirement of Canada's greening government strategy. The automated storage and retrieval system is energy efficient and contributes to a reduced environmental footprint. The Preservation Storage Facility provides the infrastructure needed for Library and Archives Canada to continue the important work of preserving Canada's growing collection.